everyone, how's going? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Susie. Today we got something super useful for all of you who are on the journey of learning English. Whether you're a student, you're a professional, or you're just someone passionate about improving your English communication skills, this video is just made for you. We're going to dive deep into the world of common mistakes that non-native speakers often make. While writing and speaking, 在今天的视频当中呢，我想要带大家一起看十五个英语中比较常见的错误，特别是对我们这种 non-native speaker 来讲，很容易产生困惑的词语、句子或者搭配。所以，无论你是学生，还是专业人士，还是对提高英语有兴趣的人，这个视频是专门为你而定做的。In this video, I like to show you and help you to correct those common mistakes. I'm certain I made those mistakes while I was learning English. Let's see if you make these mistakes too. 那在这个视频当中呢，我会呈现出这些错误，并且教你如何改正这些错误。我记得我以前在学英语的时候就会出现这些错误，所以让我们来一起看看你到底会不会出现这些错误吧。But、before we jump into these mistakes, I like you to take a little test, which can help to identify. How many mistakes you make, or what kind of mistakes you make? Maybe you don't really make any mistakes, which is superb. But I believe most of English learners would make one or two or even some common mistakes, since they're kind of confusing. 那么在看这些错误之前呢，我想先请你们做一个小的测验。啊，这个小测验是帮助我们 identify 这些 mistakes。如果是说你一个错误都不犯，当然更好。如果你说犯了一两个或者更多的话，也不用担心，因为我们的视频目的就是要你避免以后的错误。在这个测验中呢，你会看到十五个错误的句子，那每一个句子呢都有一个错误。我会给你们几秒钟的时间，让你们考虑一下到底是什么样的错误，然后我们再一句一句的来看具体的错误是什么以及如何改正。Before we get started, don't forget to smash the subscription button so you won't miss out any language tips and tricks. All right, let's jump in. I have a six years old daughter. Can you find the mistake in this sentence? I'm really boring. What about this one? I suggest you to read this book. Can you find the mistake though? I wish I was her. She seems to have everything under control. Is this one right? I'm studying English for improving my job prospects. Does it sound correct? I'm looking forward to meet you. Where is the mistake? I enjoy to read books. How about this one? I have many homeworks to do. He is confident to pass exam. Something wrong with this one, though. Each of the students has their own preferences. The reason why I was late is because of traffic. He is the most unique person I've ever met. What about this one? Despite all the rain, we had a great time. Would you reply me with your quote? How about this one?
Thank you so much for your helping. How about this one? Did you find the mistakes? Now I will give you the correct answers. I will teach you the rules. Let's take a look at the first sentence. I have a six years old daughter. Where is the mistake? It should be I have six year old daughter, or I have five year old son. 在这里边 year 应该用单数的形式，不能用复数的形式，所以它后面不能加 s. I have an eighty-year-old grandmother. And you can also say I have two children. I have a seven-year-old and a nine-year-old. 在这里边，两个 year 都不能够加 s， 都不能够用复数的形式，只能用单数的形式。I'm really boring. Where is the mistake? You can only say I'm bored. Bored is 形容人 bored. He is bored. She is bored. Boring is 用来形容事情或者形容 situation 处境很 boring. The game is so boring. I'm so bored. I'm bored because the game is so boring. I suggest you to read this book. Correct way should be I suggest that you read this book. 我们不说 I suggest somebody to do something or somebody suggest somebody to do something. We only say I suggest that. 后面加一个 whole sentence. 你可以说 I suggest that you read this book. Or I suggest you read this book. That is kind of optional. You can have it, or without it, it's fine. Or you can also say I suggest reading this book. Because suggest 用法比较复杂一点。如果你不想用 suggest 的话，也可以用它的 alternative. I recommend that you read this book. I suggest that you read this book. I wish I was her. She seems to have everything under control. The correct way should be I wish I were her. 这里边的虚拟语气要用 were。如果是第三人称的话 ，she wishes she were a skilled dancer so she could perform on stage with confidence. He wishes he were. We do not use 单数的形式 We do not use was. I wish I were her. I'm studying English for improving my job prospects. Where is the mistake? The correct way should be I'm studying English to improve my job prospects. The purpose is to improve my job prospects. So to be simple, we do not say for verb plus ing. We only say to plus verb. To improve my job prospects. As an alternative, you can also say I'm studying English with the goal of enhancing my job prospects. I'm looking forward to meet you. This is a very common mistake. I have seen a lot, including myself. But we should know this. I'm looking forward to meeting you. I'm looking forward to. Seeing you, I'm looking forward to speaking with you. Looking forward to, look forward to. 后面一定要加动词加 ing 的形式，这个一定不要错了。I enjoy to read books. Where is the mistake? We normally do not say I enjoy to do something. 一般我们是说他享受的是一个过程。I enjoy. Doing something, I enjoy reading books. 我享受的是这一个过程。那同样，你也可以说 I like to read books. I like to 呢是说 desire. I want to read books. I like to read books. 
。那 I like reading books 是说一个长期的一个习惯。其实这个 enjoy 和 like 是差不多的一个感觉。The next one, I have many homeworks to do. Where is the mistake? 在这里边呢 ，homework 是不可数的一个名词，所以你不能说 homeworks， 也不能用 many。你只可以说 I have a lot of homework to do， 或者呢 ，assignment 在这里边是可数的一个名词。你可以说 I have many assignments to do， or I have many assignments to complete。那另外有许多这种不可数的名词，你都后边不可以加 s。这几个词是我们平常很容易见到的，比如说 homework、advice、information。Vocabulary, 它们都是不可数的名词。你不可以用 many 和后边加 s 来形容。The next one, he is confident to pass the exam. Where is the mistake? We normally do not say somebody is confident to do something because to do something is going to happen in the future. So we、we'll、normally use He is confident he will pass the exam, 或者是说 he is confident about passing the exam. Each of the students have their own preferences. Where is the mistake? We should say each of the students has their own preferences, because 主语是 each of the students 是单数的人称，所以我们说 each of the students has their own preferences. Or you can also say each student has their own preferences, which should be easier. The reason why I was late is because of traffic. Where is the mistake? I think this one is pretty obvious. The reason why and because of 是两个重复的，同时出现在一句里边，很显然就不太恰当。那我们可以说成 The reason I was late is traffic. That's it. Or I was late because of traffic. 或者 alternatively, I was late due to traffic. Or you can say, as a result of traffic, I was late. The next one, he is the most unique person I've ever met. This is a very common mistake. 英语中不会这么连用 the most unique something. 他们只会说 he is a very unique person I've ever met， 或者是说呢 he is incredibly unique， unlike anyone else I've ever met。所以说这个可能需要记忆一下。The most unique is not the right way。Despite of the rain， we had a great time。Where is the mistake？ 在英语里面不太用 despite of。只会用 despite the rain, we had a great time. 不会加 of. 那么 alternatively, you can say even with the rain, we had a great time. You don't need to remember despite of. You only need to remember despite the rain, we had a great time. The next one, would you reply me with your quote? Where is the mistake? We do not say reply me. We can only say, "Reply back to me" or "Reply to me." Would you please reply back to me with your quote? 这是更客气一点，因为加了一个 please. Would you please reply to me with your quote? 如果你不想用 reply 的话，可以用 alternative. Please let me know if there is any update on the quote. Or you can say, "Could you please respond?" Would you please respond? They're all okay, but please don't say reply me. This is very impolite, very rude. The very last one. Thank you so much for your helping. Where is the mistake? We don't say thank you so much for your helping. Thank you so much for your timing, or thank you so much for your watching. We only say thank you for your help. Thank you for your effort. 如果你想说的更正式一点呢，你可以说 
I really appreciate your help. I appreciate your time. Or I really appreciate your effort. Okay, that's all fifteen sentences. I hope you learn some really important English tips and tricks that will help you to avoid common mistakes. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.